Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, EQA and Nostalgia here, and welcome to my guide for the engineer in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. First and foremost, I want to note the changes to this guy since the original Garden Warfare. He no longer has his drone, and instead he has a turret that he can hop on. But I'm going to get into that in just a moment. First, let's take a look at his health. It's 125 by default. The only reason why it's 155 here is because I was getting my ass kicked as a foot soldier with all of those roses back there. And uh, I had to switch to the engineer. That's when I started to really push back on him. Which brings me to my next point. He's pretty good at taking out roses. That's something I've noticed with him. He's pretty mobile when he gets on his jackhammer. And he's just a pretty good character all around. Also, keep in mind, his hitbox is kind of big. So you don't want to be careful. He's one of those characters that can easily be melted if you're not paying attention. Alright, so let's talk about his primary weapon, the Concrete Launcher. This does about 20 splash damage, and it does roughly 30 to 40-ish damage if you hit them directly. It scales upward as you upgrade the, the weapon damage and stuff. I think you can get it up to about 40 or 50 damage direct hit. But I really like his weapon. I used to absolutely wreck people with the plumber before he got nerfed in Garden Warfare 1 because I would just fire it into the garden and the splash damage was ridiculous. The splash damage with this just basic engineer is still pretty good and you're going to find you get a lot of kills just by firing at clusters of enemies. Alright, so the first ability I want to talk about for him is his Sonic Grenade. This is essentially a stun grenade and it's really good for pulling chompers out of the ground once they burrow. Maybe it's just me, but I think this might have got a nerf between Garden Warfare 1 and 2. I think it's shorter now. It's about one second. The stun time seems a little too low considering what Rose can do. That brings me to the Proximity Sonic Mine. This is the alternate ability for his Sonic Grenade. Basically, you just throw some mines down. They can stun the plants. I don't usually use it as much, but it is nice to have uh, extra stuns to use. I'm just a little bit more aggressive with this character. I have to say he's probably my most aggressive zombie. I just get right in their face. I spam them. I throw grenades. I just, I just kill. <laughs> I don't care if I get killed as long as I take people with me. That's how I play him. He's like my suicide guy. Now, traditionally in gardens and graveyards now turf takeover i would spam the crap out of the garden i don't really do that as much anymore because it just i don't know it just doesn't seem as viable as it once was but i do still tend to do it uh, just not as much i like it when they cluster up in a corner like this right here and then i can just roll in and kill as many of them as possible or just die and not get any kills sometimes that happens but you know what it's fun Okay, so next up we have the jackhammer. This gives him a lot of mobility. I like to use this to flank around the plants. I like to use it just to get up field. But mostly what this is good for is hopping around in a circle while spamming people with your launcher. It's a lot of fun. You're going to get a lot of kills. Be careful of Rose because she likes to use that time warp bullshit. I forgot the name of it. I don't play her that much. Not until she gets nerfed anyway. So what you're going to want to do is just stay mobile. That's the best way to do it. And there's also a turbo jackhammer. It goes a lot faster, but it's very short-lived, so you're not going to be on it as long. I don't like it that much. I'd rather be on the jackhammer longer, being able to hop around my enemies and just continue to spam them. Okay, so last up, we have the big bolt blaster. This is pretty much what the pea shooter can do with its gatling form. Also, this is very similar to what the sunflower can do. He just gets up on his turret, which essentially leaves him immobile and he can shoot it does a lot of damage at medium range to close range but longer range it starts to drop off much more than what the pea shooter and the sunflower can do i like to use this when i see plants that are clustered together and that happens a lot in this game it happens more than i think it ever happened in garden warfare one for some reason i don't know what it is with that but it seems like the plants just cluster together so when they do hop on that thing and blast them to pieces Alright, so overall I'll say that the Engineer is pretty much a good character for anybody. He fits into uh, a, a couple of different play styles. He can be defensive, he can be offensive. I think he's a lot of fun, and I think you'll find him easy to use with his splash damage. Let me know what you guys think of the Engineer down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please remember to leave a like. If you're new here, I ask that you please subscribe. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.